Hi everyone, Holly here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate a camera technique that's called the dolly zoom or the um, sometimes known as the contra zoom. Uh, so there's a link in the description below to a video on YouTube that gives you kind of a history of it and some really great examples both from um, film and animation. So using this example from Jaws um, a really famous example, I'm just going to play it, this is a dolly zoom, so you can see that the character stays um, kind of in center of the frame, but the background appears to warp around them, and this creates a disorientating effect for the audience. If we have a look at this behind the scenes, we can see that we have the actor, and then we have the camera on a dolly track and in this case the camera starts out uh, far away from the actor and using a telephoto lens it zoomed right in which means we can't see much of the background apart from the actor and then the dolly zoom happens when as the camera zooms out to reveal more of the background and into a wide angle lens which also is going to distort the face of the character um, you will have the camera move in closer so you get that effect where you're zooming out which normally the, the actor would then appear to be further away but you're counteracting that with dollying in um, you can also achieve the effect by zooming in but dollying out which is the opposite so, so let's go into Maya and look at how we set that up so I've recreated it uh, tried to recreate it with our actor um, so first thing we're going to do is create a camera so create camera camera and um, oh it's tiny because my scene's quite large so I'm just gonna scale it up scaling up a camera by the way has no effect on what the camera sees it's just the kind of icon that you're scaling up so there's my camera and I'm gonna set the focal length first of all so I know that I want a um, telephoto lens, so a zoomed in lens, so I'm going to go for something like 120. Um, and then I'm going to go to panels, look through selected, um, to look through the camera. So I'm currently looking inside my character, so there we go, I can zoom out. Um, and by looking through the camera, if I am moving the camera, I'm actually positioning it. Um, and I'm going to turn on my um, resolution gate so I can see exactly what I'm framing. So now I'm just going to frame my character so roughly he's going to be in the center of the frame and he kind of is going to fill the frame um, maybe a little less so we can just see him and the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is the um, zoom. So in order to zoom, create a zoom effect in Maya uh, I'm on the first frame, I've set my focal length, I'm going to right click and choose set key. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the last frame, so I'm doing 60 frames, and I know that I'm going to zoom um, out, so I'm going to change to a focal length, which is like a wide angle lens, so I'm going to go with something like a 24, and there we go, we can see, I'm going to set the key now, that we've zoomed out quite a lot. If we just go and look, so if I um, just turn this into perspective, let's have a look, and then this one can be our camera, and um, you can see that the camera's not actually moving, okay? We're getting this change just from keying the lens, and you can see there's like a little animation uh, on the lens there where changing from a zoomed in telephoto to a wide angle. And now we actually need to do the, the dolly. Um, so going back to the first frame, I'm going to go to my channel box with my camera select and I'm going to be using the um, blue axis which is my Z axis so I'm going to right click and key the translate Z and then I'm going to go to the last frame and using the Z axis I'm going to zoom in and kind of frame my character 
how I would want them. So something like that. And then right click on the translate Z and key again. So now, if we look, we are getting quite easily and quickly the um, dolly zoom effect. So the camera is both having the lens change and the position change. Okay, so I've rendered out the shot and this is um, what we have for the final look. So we have the background zooming um, out and distorting and the character staying roughly in place in the frame. Their face obviously does distort and um, that's just because we're going from a telephoto lens to a wide angle lens, which is going to distort the image. Um, so yeah, to do this, I obviously did what I showed you guys, then I threw a quick light in there, um, and I added some depth of field just to the background, so the character stands out even more, because um, that's what's happening in the shot in Jaws. Um, I already have a tutorial on depth of field, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, but yeah, if you found this helpful, um, do let me know in the comments um, and if you want to see more videos like this where we look at camera techniques and how to recreate them in Maya then yeah just let me know if there's any that you would like me to do any ideas I'd love to hear from you guys so thanks <laughs>